this is me and today I thought I'd do a little vlog because I'm actually taking Joey out today which is very exciting. I haven't been able to for many different reasons. One being obviously lockdown, um, but also our van has been a little bit poorly recently. We've had to have it fixed, also order some new parts, had to ship them across the world to get here, then have the van fixed and everything like that. So it's been a while. Um, also, Joey isn't too used to traveling in our van. I think he was used to traveling in a bigger horse box. So recently we've actually done a lot of desensitizing work with him. So for the last sort of week, Every evening when Joey has his dinner, we've been giving him his dinner in the van. So he associates the van as a positive and happy place just because I think he gets like a little bit nervous sometimes when we take him somewhere new because um, I think he's more like, oh no, I'm being taken away from Mickey and Casper because we've actually taken him out with Mickey and he traveled absolutely perfectly. And I think it's just because he had a friend with him. So anyway, I need to get the van ready first and load up all of my tacks. So let's grab my saddle. All right, so I always like to get my stuff ready first before I get the horse ready, just because with Joey, he's young. If I have him standing tied up for a little while, he can get a little bit fidgety and things. So I'm gonna get his tack ready first. So first things first, saddle pad, the most exciting part of the day. So I think I'm gonna go for like full on matchy matchy today. I'm gonna go for the Lumia Lavender as we go. Perfect match. Oh my gosh, there's a spider on it, hello. Hello, little guy. Okay, I need to put him outside. Off you go, little friend. Off you oh, there he goes. So we have the saddle pad after the drama of the spider. I just I'll quickly put it underneath so that's all ready. I'll keep my saddle cover on of my Voltaire design saddle because don't want it to get scratched or anything while we're in the van. Grab his girth, we'll go for this. Big boy one. Ah, there we go. What else do I need? I need his bridle. Ah, his bridle's here because I actually cleaned it yesterday. Wow, look at me go. I forgot to put it away after cleaning it. I'll just pop. I always like to put my reins through the throat lash just so then the reins don't kind of dangle on the ground. So I've got that. What other horse things I need to get ready? I'll probably, hmm boots that's what I need hmm. oh his ink ones might look quite cute because I've kind of got navy on at the moment I don't know I feel like navy and that does go quite well we'll grab the ink boots nice this is when you know you're a true equestrian because you can carry almost absolutely everything wherever you need to go without dropping anything so it's a little challenge Esme here okay don't drop it Esme don't drop it <laughs> One-handed. Okay. Ah. Can I get up? Oh no. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, let's pop the boots down before I drop anything. Bridle on the little hook. And then saddle. Oh no, oh no. I can go on there. What's happened here? No, it's the saddle pad. There we go. I don't know why, but it's like one of my pet peeves. One of the things I hate is when you put a saddle on like a saddle stand and then the saddle gets all bent and like the saddle pad gets all bent and like stuck underneath and that's what was happening. So I had a bit of a struggle because it's quite high up that I have to put the saddle in my little tech room in the back of my van. Uh, I'll leave this nice and open nice and airy so then it's just a bit more welcoming for when Joey comes in uh, also got his bucket as well that I need to put some dinner in for him that was his dinner bucket from last night if I move this little oops, maybe that can open it up Ta -da! there we go and I need to open up the back okay so open it up pop it down Oh yeah, we got this cool little mat for our ramp. There we go. It's just a bit more welcoming for him because he kept like when he was going in, I don't know if it, I don't think he scared himself, but he just, he's not really a horse that gets scared of these kind of things. But his back leg 
was kind of like on the edge and it just has a bit more grip so I don't have to worry about him kind of falling down the little hole. I'll open this up now. It's nice and airy for him. Take away this hay net because we don't need two hay nets and this one's kind of empty anyway. Probably fill the other hay net up a little bit more just so then he has something to distract him during the journey. Not that we're going very far or anything. All right, so I'm currently just filling up a hay net for Joey. I don't know if other people do this in other countries, but I know like in the UK, a lot of people give their horses hay nets when they travel. I know some people like to do it, some people don't. It's kind of personal preference and what you think is best for your horse. I know that with Joey, because you know, it's something a little bit new for him. He hasn't done much traveling before in our van. I think it's actually his like third or maybe fourth time he's been in it. We did one really short journey because he somehow managed to take his shoe off when I got him into the van, which wasn't ideal. He was completely fine, his hoof was completely fine. He just knocked it off, which is why we have the little mat because we think he might have done it on the little gap there. Apparently it's, my farrier was saying, it's something that a lot of young horses do. So I just think he'll be a bit more settled and distracted if he does have a hay net to munch on. Because obviously horses have to eat little but often, so it's always good to make sure they've got a little something in their tummy so he'll be nice and happy for our long hack. And hopefully, I think he'll travel a lot better on the way home because hopefully I'll tire him out a little bit on our ride. Also, that's why I decided to take him on a hack because then, you know, it's nice and chilled, good vibes, no worrying about being late or being in a rush. You know, we can just go at our own pace and make it nice and positive and a happy experience for him. So I've got the hay net, let's go and put that up. Okay, so I'm just tying up his hay net now. I just like to make a little check to make sure we have everything in the van. So I've got this massive sort of box of water. So we've got plenty of water for him. We've got a bucket as well. I don't know if he's the kind of horse that likes to drink out of a bucket when we're away, because obviously I haven't really taken him many places. So um, that will be interesting because Cass was one of those horses that he just, he will refuse to drink out of a bucket of water when we take him anywhere new. So I always have to make sure to bring apples with me so that he does apple bobbing, so at least intake some sort of liquid. Um, apple juice works well sometimes as well. I've had a lot of people use that um, to put in their horse's water. So anyway, got his hay. Need to get him, get him groomed. Also need to grab my helmet and my boots as well. So need to make sure I've got everything for myself. So I'm gonna quickly run to my tack room and grab that. All right, so I'm just grabbing my helmet. I've gone for the Charles Owen today. Wow, look at the matchy matchy level we're going for today, guys. Never disappoint when it comes to matchy matchy. So I'm just putting, I'm making it even more matchy because I've, because I've obviously got my navy skull. I'm using the navy hat silk from my navy skull cap to put on here. So I'm just like triple matchy because then the navy matches my navy breeches. So, you know, look at that guys. Wow, we are really going to town with the matchy. Okay, got that. Should I go for the navy gloves as well? Why not? Let's go to town. Okay. Helmet, boots, got my area vortexes. What else do I need? Hat, boot, gloves. I think that's everything for me, so let's put it in the van. There we go, up we go. Oh, first time. Good boy, up you come, up and over, up and over. Good boy, wow. He went in, first time, didn't even bat an eyelid. For, it's been like, the first time we tried it took him about 15, 20 minutes, then it went down to like 10 minutes, then five minutes, then like a minute, then like a few seconds of him just standing outside and being like, okay, actually I'll come in. And that's the first time I've led him up and he's just gone in straight away. And you wouldn't believe that, you know, he was a little bit nervy or a little bit unsure at first of coming in, but now he knows that when he comes in, he gets a bit of dinner. So very good, what a good boy. Should we get you in then? Put your booties on, make you all comfy. And then we're gonna go on an adventure. Wow, exciting stuff, eh? What a good boy. Little 
Joey update. He had a few little stamps and a few little cries out for Mickey and Casper about 15 minutes after he left. He started off being really good, but now he's settled down again. So fingers crossed he stays like this until we get there. I always learn in the hardest of times to search for life. To the darkness in my mind But I'll be alright Try and fly But I only ever get so high I will never give up my fight Even if it burns all night I can feel Wait. Oh boy, easy. There we go. Oh, you can have grass if you like. First thing, got to get that snack. Okay, come on then. Oh my gosh, you've got a whole clump. Lovely. Let's get you cooled down, shall we? I know. I know, you just want to go rolling, don't you? My God, just wash you off first. Good boy. Good boy, well done, well done. Oh, I know it's tickly there, isn't it? It's tickly. After I gave Joey a little bit of a hose, I then let him into the field and for some strange reason, his face was really itchy and he decided to use Mickey as a scratching post and I don't think he very much appreciated it. However, Mickey then wanted the spotlight and decided to give the camera a few little kisses and then afterwards, both boys decided to go and have a really big roll and yes, they both got very, very dusty.
All right, everybody, I'm now back from my ride with Joey. I'm just currently cleaning off all of my tuck because my goodness, he got so sweaty. I think because when we first arrived, he was a bit sweaty from the journey, just because obviously he hasn't traveled much before. It's all very new to him. He's still young and green and things. He found it a little bit nervy, but by the end of the journey, he was fine. He was really good. So when we first arrived, I did like, you know, sponge him off a little bit, get him all set settled, grazed him, so he was really good at that. And then he was brilliant to be tacked up. He stood really still, so I was really happy. And then we took him on our ride and there were cows that he'd never really properly seen before. So yeah, on the whole hack and everything, he was super confident, super happy, really enjoyed it. We even had a few canters as well. I didn't want to let him like full blast gallop um, for many different reasons. Um, not because of like control, but also the ground is so hard. And I don't want to teach him that when I canter in an open field, every time we have a full on blast. So what I did was I did quite a nice sort of bouncy sort of grid work canter I asked him to have, which was really nice. We also got that up the hill as well. Um, obviously you don't want to be cantering him downhill because he's still, well, it's just not very good to do in general, but he's still very baby legs, don't want him to trip up on himself. Um, so yeah, that's girth is almost clean. He's molting at the moment, so it's like so hairy. I'm trying to wash off all the all the hairs. Also, while I was cantering him, I wanted to do lots of transitions as well. So I asked him to canter to the left, to the right, um, on the left rein, right rein, that kind of thing. And yeah, he did really well. He did everything I asked. He was super well behaved, especially for his first time in a new place as well his first time traveling in ages um, on the way home he really didn't kick or squeal or like call out to Mickey and Casper that much at all I think he did it like once or twice and that was it really so he's getting better so it's just one of those things that I just need to get him out loads and do it really often and he'll just get used to it so lots more trips in the van for Joey he'll probably have his dinner in there again tomorrow <laughs> Um, just to, again make it really nice happy and positive place but yeah I think today's been a success I'm just gonna finish off cleaning my tack and yeah I took a ride on a Saturday night but you know I'll make it back you should never have to ask me babe never have to ask me babe I would never wanna leave you in doubt I can do you no harm, I should never have to tell you that No, I only got your back Missing the moments we lived under the seats Never thought I'd be the one to walk the streets like this But I just wanna come home to you I know you wanna love me but you feel the unknown so also while we were up there we did a little um, mini photo shoot we took quite a lot of photos for my instagram um, and i was gonna say you know um <laughs> we're just standing still which sounds like quite an easy job but when it comes to young horses you learn that nothing's never really very easy is it so um no he was actually really good he was he moved around like a little bit we're still kind of teaching him that it's okay to stand still i think he was a bit confused because he was like oh my gosh what, what what am i doing where am i going and it was like no it's okay joey just stand still for a few seconds so whenever he got a bit too fidgety I just walked around in a little circle calmed him down then be like okay we're gonna stand for a photo and he did really well he's getting there he's slowly becoming a youtube horse getting used to the cameras and things um so yeah i think we got some pretty awesome shots while we're up on the hills he really enjoyed it and i'll get back to you guys when i've finished cleaning my tack <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm going to finish today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me take baby Joey out for the first time in absolutely ages. Also our first time up on the hills for our hack. I'm just so happy with how he went. I think he enjoyed it so much. So hopefully I'll be taking him back soon or going out on other adventures in the van together. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.